Okay, Paul, I just connected power to the unit. Now, you're going to get your own battery, but I have my little battery hooked up underneath here. You could use the power adapter. As soon as you power it in, it goes through an initializing, and at the end it says IRLP node in speech. And this is the main startup screen, so I just wanted to show you how you could get on the air. I have my... Um, Handy talky Kenwood here set to 446.875, which is how the internal radio is configured, the UHF simplex. Um, so let's get started. We'll go right to IRLP screen, and you have some menu items. Keypad, let's just do that. This is where you would type in the node number, 9100, 9900, and then send to connect. Um, we'll hit cancel, and I'm going to go to fav or fave for favorite key and here's where I was telling you about those buttons let me just see okay yeah wind system the echo test which we're gonna hit the micro node which is the manufacturer that's all the guys that love these micro nodes and nano nodes out in Las Vegas is where that reflector is based and that's where you can link up with Mark and some of the other guys I think Hans is another one the inventors of this thing they monitor that and you can give KZIZA a call that's Mark Guyboard for help or anybody else just ask for help if you want it. The Western Reflector, I forget what that is. The Aussies, uh, that's a big one down uh, down under, Australia. So to connect, it's this simple because right now it's not connected to any node. I hit echo test. IRLP echo reflector, link active, main channel. So you pretty much always get uh, when you're connecting to a big node that is a reflector where groups of hams all connect and talk among themselves like wind system like the echo test like the one in Las Vegas etc cetera, etc cetera. you usually get a, a voice recording confirmation which is nice and this is a one that's good because you get to test your radios with it so as I transmit on 448.875 it'll record it and then play it back to me so you can check your audio this is KM6U with a radio check one two three four five four three two one KM6U, Sonora, California. Now we wait a second. This is KM6U with a radio check. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. KM6U, Sonora, California. So there you go. The, the HT is talking to the UHF radio through this little stub antenna right here. Okay. Uh, now, let's say you wanted to change to another reflector. You're ready. You tested it with the echo. You just hit end, that's disconnect. Now note idle. IRLP, echo reflector, link clear. Let's go back to favorites. Collect wind system. Welcome to the wind system reflector, 9100, link on. There you go. And there's somebody transmitting a carrier on the wind system, no modulation. But usually there's a lot of chatter on this one, um, globally. Uh, but somebody's keying up and can't get through. All right, uh, so that's the basic idea. Let's end it. In other words, disconnect. And take a look at some of the other... And that's the little sign-off to confirm that you're now not connected. Node is idle. That's your confirmation. So let's go to system. By the way, when you're shutting down, you don't just pull the power. You shut down the unit just like you would your personal computer. You know, do a proper shutdown. So that's under system. Shut down unit, upper right, hit it, and then it, it turns everything off. Um, network is where you set up your Wi-Fi. You can see these, right now I am connected on Wi-Fi 1. These drop down, you get three choices, the Ethernet hardwire, Wi-Fi 1, which is my home Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 2, which is my cellular phone, Wi-Fi operating when it's in the hotspot mode, the phone. So you're driving around, you've got a data connection to the Internet, and that's the Wi-Fi 2 button. And that one is a little tricky to set up, so Mark Guyboard helped me, and I'm sure he will help you too. Uh, to set up a hotspot with your cell phone and to get it to handshake with this thing. 
uh, but I'm just going to keep it on Wi-Fi 1. Uh, what else? Um, radio. That's, that's where you're setting up the internal UHF um, two-way radio in here. So you, you pick your simplex frequency. I picked 446.875. Remember, this is a low range. You can just keep it there. 100 is the PL tone or CTCSS tone. Uh, and so you could just set your walkie-talkie or your mobile radio, and that way when you're walking around your house or whatever you're doing, um, you've got communication to whatever node you're connected to because everything on the network is going to be transmitted out of this antenna to your walkie-talkie. By the same token, when you transmit, it will be received and then sent out over the Internet to every repeater everywhere, every node, every simplex node, every repeater uh, everywhere in the world that is currently connected to that reflector. Uh, what else? Audio. These are user adjustable, and, and that's how you control the, the audio that gets sent out over the wind system. Right now it's optimized. I wouldn't mess with that. Um, and what else? IRLP. Uh, keypad favorite. Oper what is operating? I don't remember. There you go. IRLP is enabled. Echo Link is disabled. And Echo Link, you can turn on, and that means, um, I believe, using the Echo Link software, you can, you can be on a PC that's connected to the internet, communicate to this, and connect to um, other reflectors. Wind System, I think, uh, discourages it. I'm not sure they ban it. They don't want people from their computers connecting uh, through their own node. Uh, they'd rather have all traffic be radio RF originated. But others aren't so strict. And it's pretty cool. So you could, if you have your own simplex node in your house, like I do down here with 50 watts, I can connect uh, from a computer in Pennsylvania and transmit my voice out here of my simplex node and also uh, hear all the traffic through the PC. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go back to system. And remember, whoops, sorry. Let me make sure it's still in the frame. We're going to hit shut down unit. Oop. Are you sure you want to shut down the unit? Okay. So now you wait. Don't pull the power. At least this is what Mark told me, so I've never done it the wrong way. I'm going to move it so you can see the little Wi-Fi. I don't know if you can see that little gizmo flashing here. Oh, it just turned off, but there's the Wi-Fi. That thing blinks on and off. So we're still waiting. It is now okay to remove the power from the unit, and that's what I'm going to do here so you can see that too. Um, Boom. Okay. So here's what I did. Uh, that's that battery I was talking about. That's just Velcroed on the bottom. You can get one like it. It's the same format and package. So, oops. It's the same format and package size as your Micronode. And they're cheap and available online. And that way you have full portability. Or you could just get the USB power cord. There it is connected. Okay, that's it.